What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. This is the Hummel Lecture and today we got the fourth figure in the house from this country bath wave and this is Howard the Duck and I'm not sure whether you can count this as an accessory but we're going to include here the Ant-Man head and in today's video what we're going to do is of course go through the figures and also go through the articulation accessories and also just to give you my thoughts and my opinion on it so yes without further ado let's just get right into it okay so we're going to start off with the packaging over here and again I have said this a lot of times I'm not a big fan of all of this windowless packaging let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this I mean yes you get your product image on the front and some artwork on the signs but again you just don't know what you're getting inside i know over here in a lot of places sometimes you'll get all the figures all swapped out but here in malaysia we don't really have that but it's still very annoying if it does happen because you don't know what's the quality you're getting but again going on to the side here my rant is over we have this here which is just the fifth figure on this country bath wave on this list this is missing out on the iron man zombie one and going on to the back here we have that huge country bath part and also we have that extra accessory and going on to the side here we have this artwork as well i think what if is one of my favorite series from disney plus behind loki and wonder vision but it's still one of the better ones especially if you compare it to many other ones that have released this year so now let's just unbox this bad boy up okay so here we have it howard the duck with that ant-man head over here and let's have a closer look at that accessory all right so i'm not sure you're gonna count this as an accessory but if we do take it as it is i think it's a really great accessory to add into your what if collection here we have the endman hit and somehow he is still surviving without any part of his body okay so now let's have a closer look at both of them so over here with this you can actually pop this off open and in terms of the head sculpt i think this is really done very very well it is very similar to the cartoon that we've gotten from the What If series. So props out to that. I think it's a really good job. You can't really pop out the head here, which is very, very sad because if you guys have any Endman figures, you can't take this off and put it on it, which is quite disappointing. And you can't tilt the head sideways, which is again, very disappointing. It's just mainly for your kind of display. You can put it on the side here. And of course, going on to Howard the Duck. So... Yes, it's a pretty similar figure to what we've been getting from like the spider ham and whatever so on. The hat here is attached to it so you can't really take it off. Again, when it comes to the head, you cannot pop it off open. But in terms of the sculpting and color, I gotta say it actually looks really alright here. You have that nice suit to it. You have all that nice details. I wish they have added some fur to him to give him a more realistic look. But again, over here you have good amount of details. You have that buttons all scaped it in so not too bad not too bad and of course you have your tie over there your shirt and going on to the head scalp again it doesn't look too bad at all i think it looks quite decent it does have good amount of accuracy from whatever we get it from the box cover and going on to the belt there good amount of details and going on to the back here you do have some creases on the back not too bad not too bad and yeah there's nothing really much to say about this figure all right, so we still have to do this, which is the articulation. So when it comes to the head movements over here, it can only rotate it sideways. So you can't really tilt it as much, but you can rotate it. Going on to the arms here, you can go up this much. Isn't too bad. And then there's no bicep swivel, but you do have your elbow joints over here, which can go at about 90 degrees. And going on to the hands here, you can only rotate it just like with the head. You cannot tilt it as much as you want because it's just a one-off pack. Going on to the torso here, which is quite surprising. So you can actually go back this much and you can go forward this much, which isn't too bad at all. And of course, you can rotate it and swivel a little bit if you want. Going on to the legs here, you can't really do anything because it's all one piece. But on the feet, you can actually rotate it outwards or inwards as much as you want. Okay, and of course, measuring out this figure, it does stand in at about the four and a half inch mark, which of course is a really tiny figure from Marvel Legends. And here is it next to some other small figures, and these are the two spider hams. So we have one here which is worse, but it that it came as an accessory. And we did have this one from here from the Monster Bath Wave. And yeah, all three of them look very, very nice and cute. And here is it next to the Zombie Hunter Spider-Man. Of course, one thing you guys will know is if you can fit the head with the cape and 
I would say no because it's actually quite tight and very annoying. I mean, everybody who wanted to get this figure definitely wanted to try this out and it doesn't work because I tried to fit in here. It just doesn't want to stay in. It just doesn't want to stick in. That's what she said. But you know, that's what you're going to get with this. Very, very disappointing because you can't use the cape with the Ant-Man head. And here is it next to the other figures from this Conchu Bath Wave that we have reviewed so far. And I gotta say, this is actually one of the one of my favorite Bath Wave, I would say, because all the figures do look really, really cool. Alright, so that is it with the Howard the Duck and Ant-Man What If figure review. And I gotta say, for rating, I would give this maybe a nice 5.5 out of 10. I mean, it's just slightly above average. I mean, they could have given us a little bit more articulation and I think that would be really awesome. Over here, again, this is quite disappointing because you cannot connect this to the cape from the Zombie Hunter Spider-Man and that is very, very disappointing because I actually wanted to buy this. I mean, I did buy this just to test out that and it didn't work. So in terms of that, it's quite disappointing, but you do get the main thing, which is the bath part. So all in all, I think I would just give this a nice 5.5. I think I'm just being quite good over here. And of course, these are just my thoughts and my opinion. Do let me know down below what you guys think about this figure. So if you guys did enjoy this video, do click the like and smash the subscribe button down below for more videos like this in the future. Do also follow me on my Instagram at the Hummel Lector. And I'll see you guys in the next one.